The recent shakedowns of five Georgia prisons resulted in over a thousand pieces of contraband, including cell phones, knives, and other things. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. If you like this kind of content and you want to hear more, go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description box below. You know, all that good stuff you can do to support the channel. If you feel so inclined, buy my book, something like that, whatever. Get you some merchandise. Either way, it's all good. So this is going to be a pretty short video. I'm just going to get right into it. I know that I've been covering Georgia a lot, but like I said before, done time in Georgia. I'm from Georgia, so it makes sense for me to have this stuff coming up on my Google News Feed all the time. But, um... It, it also makes sense just because of the fact that there's so much stuff going down in Georgia right now that it, it stays in the news. There's another article that I just saw. It was talking about Atlanta, U.S. Penitentiary, which is fed, but it's in Georgia. And they're basically finding that it was unsafe. They fired a bunch of people, and they're shipping people out of there. It's a 100-year-old prison, so I can't even imagine. I've been there, but uh, I came through uh, Penitentiary Atlanta on a transfer, so I was in just one part of the prison i wasn't actually out on the yard but uh it's a big scary ass place looks like a damn castle um it's it's one of those prisons that actually looks like a prison from a movie but anyway this this latest story man i'm gonna throw this picture up on the screen and man as you can see just look at all those knives all those weapons and they wonder why it's so violent and so deadly in the georgia prison system right now i mean like I told y'all before in the other video, man, when we were in and you had a knife, it was a small little poker, four, five, six inches long because you had to be able to hide the damn thing because they did regular shakedowns and the guards had control. But now there's no guards back there. You might not have a shakedown for a damn year. So these dudes are walking around with lawnmower blades. And I mean, you can see all the cell phones and everything. And it's just wild how much stuff those guys have. And I know, listen, as a former inmate, yeah, it's a field day to be able to have those kinds of things. Not so much the weapons, but a cell phone, I can't even imagine. That was every inmate's dream whenever I was inside. But, so what they hit, uh, moving on, is they hit Coastal, Central, Dooley, Lee, and Valdosta. Now, let me tell you, don't get me wrong. I don't know how the prison system currently is. I got out in 2004. But I do keep up with it, and I'm pretty sure that I've got a pretty good thumb on what's happening. Out of that list, I would say like Valdosta might be the worst one. Maybe Central, because it looks like Central is what I used to know as Macon State Prison. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, correct me if I'm wrong. But I thought that Central or Macon State or whatever used to be a sweet prison. And I know that there's shit going down at all these prisons in Georgia right now, but man... Why would you shake down those prisons? Why would you not immediately go for um, uh, Smith, Waycross, where, where all the shit's happening, Hayes, and all these other prisons? I mean, to choose those five, it just kind of seems like the wrong thing to do. I would want to go for the deadliest and the most violent spots. And that's, like I said, Telfair, Ware, Smith. Um, what's the other one that I've been hearing a lot about lately? Uh, shit, I can't remember. But either way. I would just think that at least Smith and them would be up there because Smith is literally the most dangerous, deadliest prison in Georgia. It always has been. And uh, I just don't get their selection, but I guess they know what they're doing, man. I can't really tell nobody how to do their damn job. But either way, that's what's going on in Georgia. Apparently, all of the news and attention that's been drawn is finally making these people do something. They're under a Department of Justice investigation, like I've said previous uh and so hopefully this is going to bring about some positive change in the prison system, man, because Georgia did make some moves towards positive things like uh, they went and they have um, tablets and stuff now. Now they're monitored by the prison or whatever, like you obviously ain't got real Internet or anything on them. But they my mama was in prison in Georgia and she could get books, learn things. She could get music and stuff, email access right there on the tablet, which is freaking awesome. But. Obviously, you're not going to be able to enjoy perks like that and rehabilitate yourself with how out of control and how dangerous the Georgia prisons are. So anyway, that's the latest. Just keeping you guys updated on everything like I do. I hope you enjoyed the content. Until next time.